all right so in last video we saw how to add uh, block paginations and in this video we'll learn how to add uh, some search engine optimization for our blog all right so let's go back to home page okay we'll just fix this link quickly and uh, i'll just go to my header and i think that link is into nav.html yes so this url over here right i need to replace this uh, with uh, not this one this one and i replace this with site.url all right so and just simply say uh, site dot url and it should load up the home page and just refresh and click here okay so i of course i need to uh, append uh, slash index dot html all right let's see if our server is running cool all right refresh yeah it works so what we need to do is first thing is uh, uh, every website uh, needs uh, SEO meta tags, but before we add that, uh, we'll add a, a plugin um, called Sitemap. So Jekyll Sitemap. Sitemap is uh, needed for real search engine optimization. So once the sitemap is generated for your website, you need to submit that sitemap uh, XML URL to your uh, Google Webmaster uh, so that uh, Google Blog can uh, crawl to your all the pages in your website, right? To enable uh, sitemap plugin, you have to uh, go to your config.yml file, add a, a new very, uh, property called gems, and uh, add a plugin name called uh, Jekyll sitemap. So starting space, hyphen, then one more space, and here the plugin name is Jekyll sitemap. Once this has been added, uh, you have to uh, just upload the changes and the sitemap will be visible at the URL uh, www.jekyll-blog.com slash sitemap.xml so whatever the url you may be having it will be at the end of like this sitemap.xml right so uh, i have not co committed my changes yet but uh, yeah uh, we'll check that so, uh, afterwards so let's first add uh, some uh, search engine optimization and that is uh, some meta tags and uh, if you come over here we have the seo meta i am inside header.html right now and uh, this description we are going to load it from here so each uh, page that is uh, each static page like this about page they have a description uh, variable over here as well index has a description over here as well block pages they have a description over here so you have to go to the header page and uh, say page so since uh, page holds uh, all these variables from fr our front matter for individual pages so as soon as uh, your page comes inside uh, a layout layout will call header and header will eventually call that page variable global variable that is page so we have to load description and just copy the description word right i don't want to do any spelling mistakes and uh, for the author right so author is not available for all the pages right so author is available only on block pages so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add uh, first of all let's just add this variable so page dot author right so i have to check if page dot author is present then only load this so i'll add on one uh, jkl uh, if statement over here so there is a condition opening closing uh, curly braces percentage percentage and i'm going to add if page dot author is present then only uh, render this so i'll just end the end if end the if statement with the end if right so let's check our local website and control f5 uh, with control plus f5 you are clearing the browser cache as, and refreshing the page right click page view source right so description is loading perfectly and the index page doesn't have any author so it's not adding that way a meta tag let's go to any block pages and view page source so you can see the author is present over here uh, but i would still suggest instead of uh, writing uh, author over here uh, you should link this uh, to your uh, 
Google Plus profile. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to my Google Plus like this, right? And uh, each uh, profile. So if I go to my profile, right? So I have to link this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this post like this. And uh, this is called Google Authorship. Google Plus uh, website authorship into head and uh, just add a link like this and relation should be uh, author right and the href should be your google plus profile like this all right instead of that you can do one more thing over here uh, you can just remove this part like this and uh, come to your footer section over here and uh, so we need Google Plus over here. So I'll just uh, consider this uh, social icon over here, which is over here, like this. This is a GitHub icon, but I'll consider this as Google Plus. So just paste your Google Plus link over here, and uh, I'm just going to remove this, right? And uh, I'm going to add uh, plus, uh, just pl uh, qu like question mark like this, and. Uh, question mark like this and say relation equal to author and it will still work right and uh, of course you have to fill your facebook url over here and twitter so this is uh, the second one is uh, okay first one is twitter so i'll just add my twitter url over here which is uh, steelx dot twitter okay twitter.com steelx i'll just copy this paste it here this is just for my social things and you can also add the facebook my facebook url is this one all right you can go ahead and add me <coughs> and once this has been done uh, again come back to the header so i'll just uh, review what we have done we have added description we have added page author right and the most important thing which any search engine uh, optimization needs is uh, canonical uh, links so you can read about canonical urls over here on this url and uh, what basically is uh, uh, canonical link is uh, google bot uh, the search bot it absolutely loves canonical urls so uh, basically uh, it, uh, we are telling google page that this is a real page and it is not an automated generated uh, page so uh, go at the header section header.html after the head tag add this link relation canonical and this url should be your current block page url so basically what i'm going to do is current page url that is page dot url okay and prepend uh, site site dot url which is a global variable all right and uh, we're going to replace uh, no that's it so this is uh, this should work mm, actually yeah we should replace index.html but uh, no anyway ignore that part so this is uh, what the final uh, url will look like and uh, let's refresh our local block fi and view page source and at the top you can see the url i'll just uh, copy this url right click and copy and just paste it in the address bar so that you can see it clearly what is the url it has generated or i can paste it over here so you can see it clearly all right so yeah this is working fine so i think uh, this much of search engine optimization even if you are doing it's uh, really great but uh, we are going to add one more thing to our website that is a google plus button yes google plus button is absolutely helpful for search engine optimization right so we are going to add that okay to add a google plus button so google plus button is something like this i'll just show you so this is yet another my blog which is hosted on google plus so this is a google plus button which uh, is like this okay uh, okay by the way there is one more thing over here there is an image uh, uh, which is being shown over here how i added this image is you have to add uh, something called uh, one more meta tag uh, that is og image yes so og image you can also add this i'll just copy this 
uh, it's very simple uh, what we have to do is uh, go to header same thing uh, so basically you have to add it after this okay so this is this will come from uh, our this tag over here so i'll just say cover image right and uh, say like this all right so this is going to be the cover image property over here so i'm going to say page dot cover image but this variable should uh, be prepended with our site dot url all right and i forgot to say prepend over here all right prepend site dot url and same thing i'm just going to copy this over here and it should work but same thing i need an else condition check if image uh, cover image variable exists then only uh, we are going to add this otherwise uh, we are not going to add this so cover image if cover image exists then only add this all right and uh, <clears throat> let's come back to the google plus button so this code i got from uh, google's blog blog post and uh, so this is basically a google plus button and uh, we need to uh, display the google plus button uh, after this title over here so we have to go to the header section and inside header uh, i think uh, so this is our main uh, heading area so we'll add it after this so i'll just paste this code all right and uh, once this has been added uh, we'll go to footer because uh, uh, of course we need to include this script google plus script then only that plus one button will be visible come at the end and add this link all right that's it let's refresh our local uh, page if i and uh, yeah it works uh, this plus one button it will not work over here because uh, this is a local url um, so as far uh, what we have done till now is uh, we have added canonical url uh, we have uh, i'll just so this is showing as index.html but just you can see right click and copy link and uh, when you paste it over here you can see it's a complete site url all right so uh, we have added uh, canonical urls we have added meta tags you can go ahead and add uh, google um, meta keywords as well which is very which is same thing like uh, meta properties we have added uh, author right if you click on any blog pages and you can see the author as well over here right we have also learned how to link uh, uh, google authorship uh, uh, which, is, which is basically i've added into our footer links and which is uh, basically if you inspect element this google this github icon but uh, which is currently our google plus linking to our google plus profile and uh, it says uh, relation author all right and uh, we have also as well added uh, google plus button right so we'll finally we'll add some last thing that is uh, uh, google analytics and adding google analytics it's very easy it's just copy and paste but uh, you have to mention the website url which is in this case is jekyll-blog.com and i'm going to add one account to my uh, uh, analytics so go to admin over here right and create new account and uh, i'm going to say jekyll hyphen blog and uh, same thing jekyll hyphen blog and the website url right and select one uh, this is uh, computers right and i'm going to type my country name india and that's it tracking id accept and you'll get the code right simple as that just copy this and paste it in the footer.html right and we'll paste it at the end the reason i'm pasting google code at the end all all the any of the external site script so that my website should load first and all the other external script they will load at the end okay so that's it from this video in next video we'll learn how to add uh, block comments yes and uh, we'll just uh, commit this code first to our github repository all right seo for our blog and uh, before committing this code i had all these messed up uh, commits ignore them 
because uh, before recording any videos i do my practice so that it's like rehearsal and it didn't uh, uh, went well this time and i had to remove most of the code over here ignore that so the working code uh, was still adding added block comments uh, sorry added uh, block paginations so yeah till here added block pagination and after that our two days comment that is uh, the real good read so if you are going through my old previous comments that this is what you should know right so see you in the next lecture where we'll add uh, uh, block comments and as well uh, after this comment uh, you can see how the sitemap is working and uh, everything else so see you then